Hey y'all, Bob with Million Mile Garage, working on our Ford 5.0, aka FOD 5.0, and I've taken one of the old rings and squared it up on the board. I'm just going to show you. Not a bad ring gap for a quarter million miles, huh? Uh, just looking here where the nasty gouge is from the hose clamp that was embedded in the piston, or chunks of the, engine, or the uh, cylinder head, who knows, right? I'm going to show you why that's never going to seal right. And I'm going to take this piece of cardboard, and I'm going to gently stick it in the hole, just like that. And I'm going to take a light, and I'm going to back light the cylinder, and just coming in, and you can see the, the big light leak, that's from the ring gap, right? I can move this back and forth, see that? Now Austin's going to come over here where the gouging is, and he's going to pan in on that cylinder ring, and you can see right here, I'm going to flash it a few times so you can kind of tell what we're looking at. You see that? That's those three gouges, and you see how big the, the holes are in the light there? All of that's going to be a leak, and that's going to leak oil and compression. It's going to put nasty, noxious gases into the crankcase, and that cylinder is always going to be an oil burner. Now, what we can do is we can try to use a hone just for the heck of it, which I think will be to no avail. And we'll just try honing it a little bit and see if my theory about how maybe the metal's raised a little bit, and that's why that cylinder ring is kind of sitting off the bore. I don't think it's going to fix it, but hey, what do we got to lose? We're just going to take a little bit of motor oil and we're just going to coat it inside the bore. It's going to be been 15 years since I've used this hone. This hone is, uh, has honed a lot of small blocks, but it's never done a, I don't think it's ever done a Ford. So we're just going to take these and put them in here like this. And I'm just going to try to, I'm kind of also kind of just kind of guide, see how far down I want to go so I'm not smacking into anything I shouldn't. That's fine. Okay. Okay, I remember how this works. Sure. camera doesn't show it, but I can, I can see from the light coming from the camera, I can still see the gouging in that bore. Okay. I'm just going to just wipe it down. And let's see if we made any progress. And you can see that. And that absolutely, in my opinion, is never going to come out with a hone. Now, I can feel where it actually did take the raised portion off in here. I can still feel it up in here, which, you know, above where the ring lands hit is not a big deal. Um, but, you know, there's gouging over here as well. Um, I can still see, and maybe we'll, we'll uh, maybe shut the, the uh, light off of the camera and we'll come in with a flashlight and just kind of show you guys uh, what it looks like after several strokes. It does have a nice crosshatch, which I was hoping for, um, but um, that's never coming out. Yep, that's permanent. And just panning in, I'm trying to back like this so you all can see it. I think you can see it pretty good. Um, running over this with my gloves, I can feel it up here. Um, I can't really feel it down there as much, um, but it's <laughs> no doubt it's there. Um, that's, that's not going to come out with a hone. You'd, you'd have to remove a lot of metal. There's still a lot of damage over here too, which I didn't really notice until I started honing. We just want it up a little high because we're not going to push it in very far. That's about how we had it before. And I'm just going to take the piston, the uh, the FOD 5.0 piston, where the uh, ring is stuck in the top land. And I'm just going to come in and just square this up on the bore like that. Now we got a pretty accurate representation of what's going on there. And again, I'm just going to drop my uh, cardboard cutout in there. That should be fine. There's the light coming through the ring gap. And then Austin's just going to move the light back and forth a little bit so we can see. Yep. And you can see, yep, there's there's no way a hone's going to remove that damage. It's done. Nowhere up here on the pad, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Right here. Let me come in and just hit this with a little paper. 
God, I tell you what, that's so faint, you could almost sand this seal number off. There it is. Okay, hard to read, but yeah, there's the serial. Okay, so she's all stripped down. We know it's gonna to have to go to the machine shop. That's the vehicle we're gonna take it in. And uh, just kind of coming up and just taking a look at the bores in the sunlight. Get a good look at these bores in this light right here, not bad. And you can see none of these bores are, are perfect, but they were in really good shape. You can definitely see some some uh, ring landmarks down there, you know, with the piston changes direction at the bottom as well. So yeah, these cylinders were far from perfect. But they were in very good condition. Again, uh, when I was a youngster, if I scored an engine um, that looked that good inside, that definitely would have been a hone and re-ring, except for that one that got, you know, seriously fubered. All right, so we went 30 over. Nice. All right, you already got the, uh, the frost plugs out. That block really cleaned up nice, didn't it? Probably one of the cleaner blocks you guys got, right? Uh, <laughs> Probably one of the cleaner blocks you've seen when it came in. I don't know. That doesn't look good. Yeah, that does look good. Look it over, Austin. It looks nice. Okay, you guys already, yeah, you t I guess you take the bushings out before you clean it. Yeah, well, yeah, you got to. It, when, when we clean it, yeah, it destroys them anyway, so he take, takes all that out. It's caustic, right? Grease so it's going to attack the No, it's, it's heat. Oh, it's heat, really? Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, it looks great. 